What's wrong, Batman? I'm tired of the jitters. Oh, would you have, like, too much coffee? No. The GH5 shutter issues are like poison ivy on my bat nuts. Oh, the GH5 jitters. We call them, uh, shutters. Or jitters. I guess jitters works. Yeah. I can't take it much longer. I'm thinking about moving away. Oh, you can't move away from the GH5? It's a great camera. This is a big problem. I pan a lot of shots. Oh, like when you capture a bad guy or something? Like you, you pan through the scene? I like to show the whole crime scene. Show what happened with a pan. So you never considered maybe just shooting it differently? What about shooting it uh, 4K? 60? No. It's got to be a 24. It's more cinematic. Well, well, is that haze behind you cinematic? Of course it is. I also farted. Okay, so today on Inside Craft Show, we're gonna talk about panning. We're gonna see if we can solve the jitter, judder. I've heard some people call it artifacts. I've never heard it called an artifact. I've always just called it shutter or jitter or judder, something like that. Artifact to me means like a breakup of the signal. So we're gonna go through and shoot it, see what happens. We're gonna try different modes, different tests and see which gives the best result and see if we can maybe, sort of possibly solve the problem once and for all. You should take this into the lab, take a look at it, and by lab I mean post bay, and by post bay I mean my office, and by my office I mean the temporary place they've stored me while they deconstruct the building. That said, let's jump inside and look at it, and then look if there's any post solution. Otherwise, the GH5 pan, worthless. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump into looking at the, the footage and see what we can what we can ascertain. I just want to use aspartame, whatever. All right, so the first one we did was an MP4 8-bit 4K UHD 
I totally see the strobe in that. And that's a six second pan. That's me doing my best six second, um, you know, just a simple pan. And I totally see the strobe judder effect in that space. We go on to the next, which is C4K. So that's Cinema 4K, MOV, 10-bit 4K, 2398. It's there, but it's not nearly as noticeable to me. It's still there. It's just not as noticeable, right? So then we go to, this is pretty interesting. We go to the Cinema 4K. This is the 8-bit, shot at 5994. And I've heard other people say, 4K UHD. I've heard other people say this worked out best, but I see it. It's pretty strong. I... So we go Cinema 4K MOV 10-bit 4K 2997, right? So we're at 2997, and it's still there. So it's showing up in all of those bits down the line, um, certainly at those 4K levels. All right, so now we're 4K MOV 10-bit, right? We're not Cinema 4K. We're at 10-bit 4K UHD, so it's 3840 by 2160, 2398, six-second pan, I barely notice it. So just for a safety reason, I did a, or just for a good metric, I did a 1080p version. I did not scale it up just to leave it the same. I don't really see it in the 1080p, which is expected. It's, I have a feeling this is gonna be a data issue. So now we're Cinema 4K True 24. That means I changed the camera to 24 Hertz. And I'm a big proponent of that. I don't see, if it's there, it's subtle. It might be a little bit there looking at the edges. But it's very, very subtle at true 24p, setting your camera to 24 hertz instead of 59.94 hertz. Here's Cinema 4K, 10-bit 4K, still true 24p. However, I slowed the pan down, and to me, it's nearly gone. I mean, it's very, very, very light if it is there. No, I don't even see it. Uh, so here's a three-second pan, and I don't see it at all in the three-second pan. Again, that three-second pan was shot at true 24 hertz. I made a note there on the bottom. Now we're at Cinema 4K, MOV, 10-bit, 4K, 2398, eight-second pan. Some of the pan stuff you're seeing is me. It's human error. I'm not seeing it very much. I would call that one an approved. And then the last piece here is uh, 4K, 8-bit, at 5994. Ooh, if I do see it, I would look in the top right areas where I'm spotting it. Like just through there. Yeah, there was a jitter there. All right, so here's my solution for dealing with this. One, I think you can slow your pan speed down. I would suggest shooting 24 hertz if you have to, or if you need to stay in 2398 for any reason, uh, I would slow your pan speed down. However, I think the best solution, what looks the most amazing, which is a hybrid of clarity and cinematic effect that Batman wanted, good, is to take the footage so we're gonna watch it here. So here we're playing in real time. We see the strobe effect. This is 5994 on a 2398 timeline, but then I'm gonna play it back and I've slowed it down. So now it's playing back. I've interpreted the footage to be 2398 and we'll show you how to do that. But here's how the 2398 footage and it's a slower pan, but my gosh, is it not beautiful? So that got me thinking, what if we did it with 2997? So you're really looking at a six frame variation. So if you did have a walk and talk and you're not on the hero's faces because it's a wide pan, right? Um, and you're not on the hero's faces. So maybe you're just doing the pan and you can get the audio. So the audio will match up as long as you can't see their lips. So I took the 2997 footage. We'll look at it. We can clearly see the judder effect. It's all through the 2997. However, when we interpret and slow it down, we get a little bit slower pan. The judder effects, not as much, but it's almost completely gone. So if you absolutely had to work that way, maybe that's another solution. My favorite, of course, is Cinema 4K, true 24 hertz, 10 bit, uh, just running the gambit that way. However, if I chose a close second, I would definitely go with shooting 60p 8 bit, believe it or not, to help get rid of that. If I absolutely had to do a pan, um, it just would be a little bit of color matching. But again, that's what I would choose to do. So what do you think about that now, Batman? It's awesome. You're a genius. Maybe you're the Riddler. Oh. I do have a riddle for you. Do you know the easiest way to follow the adventures of Craft Show? Yes, the subscribe button, you idiot. All right, that's it. Inside Craft Show, Batman edition. GH5 jitters are the bane of my existence. <laughs>